And folks, we are absolutely back in full effect. And I can't believe I turned it on like it was an ignition. <laughs> we, are, we are here doing something special. So you guys always hear us talk about. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get it right, well, man. Get it right. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Since I'm guessing, let me do this. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Adventures of the Black Nerd. It is I, Mr. Town Death. I am in the place to be with two of the realest dudes ever that I've ever fucked with. If you've ever listened to a podcast, because I know you have because you're fucking right here right now, okay? You are listening to a motherfucking podcast right now. I got my boy Trav in the building. I got my boy Baron in the building. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to take you down a trip of greatness, okay? So if you are a video gamer, this is for you. If you believe in fantasy, this is for you. If you are a slubber to gullium, go ahead and stay home. This ain't your world. But if you want to know what epic blackness sounds like, this is the show you need to listen to right here. So with that being said, my guys of the black nerds, Take the shit out of it. Soundboard. I need a soundboard. <laughs> Horns would have killed it right there. Oh, Tone. Hey, I what appreciate up, dog? you, Man. dog. I really do. Hey, we gonna have that. We gonna have to crop that and run that on every podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, that's just gonna be in the right in the beginning. We gonna we gonna throw a beat over it too. Actually, somebody made me. Hey, oh, uh, shout out to Kiddo Man, Mr. Doja. He actually made me an intro track for all my stuff. I for seen that. Podcast. Yeah, I'm I'm super super excited for that, man. Um, I'm gonna plug that in and much love to him. But folks, what you guys gotta know is gaming right now is so like I love and hate this time this time of uh like of a gaming year. cycle. No, not even just the year of the game. That too. I can't. Stand but the gaming cycle, because we know, like here it is. I got an OG Xbox. There's certain games that are out right now, like certain MMOs. I can't run successfully because it's an OG. And if I had a newer one, I'd be able to render better and keep up. Wouldn't get booted out of the servers. But I don't want to go spend one ninety nine on a system just to play it for so many months, knowing I'm about to start dropping on the new system. Facts, Bro, big I'm, facts. I'm no, I'm definitely upgrading. Uh, I got a, <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a whole credit card, bro. Just mm-hmm. set aside for the new system. I, and when I tell you I'm upgrading, I just told the wife. I say that PlayStation y'all down there playing and watch it Netflix on. I say bye. <laughs> I'm trading it in. I'm getting a new one. And I'm gonna get the new one when it come out. Mm-mm. No, I'm not doing it. Hey, I, today hey. I just got I I I never experienced something so worse. I was playing in the crucible and I peeked Destiny. and this dude, I just didn't know how he got the shot off. I I was like, yo, where's the kill cam? I died. Where's everything at? I lit, I just put everything down, shut it off, and went, went, went about my day. Went and ate some cereal, came back, and was still mad. I wanted to flip my whole setup. So I was like, you know what? I think it's because I'm playing on the OG PlayStation 4. Facts. I'm not doing it. And it is. No. It is. Now, now, let me tell you. I didn't know how real it was because, folks, I had my first paid sponsored uh, streaming event. That's what's I up. only got two dollars and seventy five cents, but I don't care. I earned bro, it. That's two, I got that's a paycheck. I got the bag. You're a professional. <laughs> Shout out to Bandai Namco. No, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no. So I was playing the game, and we had a major event. It was my first time ever being in an MMO raid. It was everybody in the whole server. It was over a hundred people fighting this one monster. Now the problem was they were even in the chat. OG Xboxes, you're getting booted, and we I'm, I'm we were getting boy you something else, man. You you gonna see Wait, my eyes for this? You you was in a raid. You was in a raid was on the OG. Raid. You was in a Duh. raid, Mister. I don't Duh. do raids. Duh, I no, but see, this raid facts. was easy. It was just fighting the big boss, not solving puzzles and dodging monsters. Bruh, but it was your, just fighting a real big dragon. But your brother though. <laughs> but yeah, but this, but the, look, okay. So, folks, just a little backstory of why uh, 
I almost called him XT Jones. YT Jones is bad. No, I uh, still call him XT Jones. I'm disrespecting <laughs> me, man. That's what it is, bro. Disrespecting me. It's look, like it's look. it's like no, no, no. You gotta understand, Trav. With you, it's like <laughs> when you go by your friend's house for the very first time, and whatever he calls his mama is what you call his mama. When mm. I met you, you were XT Jones. So, 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 much so you, what you what you saying? Blame blame Baron J six seven. Yeah, dog, by default you XT dog. You XT oh, forever. Hey, gonna get, look, I'm gonna get you a shirt. I'm gonna order you a custom bro, shirt. Don't, gonna don't say, order me no XT Jones. It's, T it's, your, Jones. it's your T. It's your TDR shirt, why, bro. Why it's already every, on there. Why every morning I wake up for the handle T Jones? I wake oh. up check. It ain't there. I'll be mad. <laughs> Hey, have you offered the new money again? No, I ain't offering nobody no money, man. They want ten man. grand. I'm broke. I, I no. I got charter. Hey, 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 no. It'd be cheaper for you to go ahead and just set up an LLC and buy it through that, and then kill the LLC. Yep. Mm, I sure <laughs> will. Open up a credit line and buy you your name. Get man, your I, rights. I can't wait to. I can't wait to. Uh, hopefully, the new systems allow people like they'll start fresh because I know I'm a day one. I'm gonna get it day one. So. I'm just bad. Uh, okay. Man. No, but, but back to the original point, because I'm really, it's stressing me out. My console, for one, I don't want to have to reset up everything. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. That's actually something I'm dreading, even though it should just be as easy as me unplugging my, uh, my HDMI right. and plugging in the new one. It should be that simple, but I got a funny feeling it won't be. No, um, it, it will be. I don't it will. see for you it will be because you don't go through settings and check stuff and delete stuff and you don't right. do that. What you saying, man? Wait, time out. What are, you, what are you saying? You you straight? Are you saying I'm a bummy gamer? Yes, you are. Yes. You're, you're, yes, you're really you bummy. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let. You I am a fact, We're trying to go kill stuff. He wants to go fish. No. Yeah, yeah. You you it's the little things. You the MMO <laughs> who you appreciate the whole concept, the game. But that's not what we here for today, fam. Do that yeah, on your man, own time. Damn, man. I feel you. I, hey, let me let me piss you off. Since we was talking about Crucible and Destiny, since I've booted back up in the last couple months, I've been running. I've only been on the moon and on Earth at the tower, <laughs> dog, and in Crucible. I can't tell you the last time I've been to Mercury, dog. <laughs> I was just See, I didn't even know that was day. a planet. I don't I don't like walking nowhere anymore, <laughs> so I don't go there. <laughs> Um, hey, bro, okay, so since this is the episode about destiny, I'm, I'm right. assuming so, since all of us are here. Uh, what do y'all think about this season so far? Season uh, eight so far. Atonement. Wait, there's a new season? This is The new season starts in the, two weeks. Yeah, the new oh, season okay. coming Ooh. up. Yeah. Ooh. So, so, well, as, oh, go ahead. No, no, you go, bro. It's your show. Okay, so as the rookie, because I consider myself still new like a rookie in destiny even though i'm not i just refuse to do everything but you can't um, answer you ain't been to, you only been to the moon and yeah, then you ain't even finished the moon content and i've been getting this man even the moon. i've been trying to get but this i got my characters to nine feet nine six. that What's don't the right mean now? nothing no more wait 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 you ain't finished the moon dog Nah, I ain't finished the moon. No, you can't be in this conversation. Just me and Well, trap, Drippy, bro. look, nah, I know bro, who Drippy nah, Eyes is. Hey, man, mute that guy. Mute that guy. I know, <laughs> I, know who Dri I know who Drippy Eyes is. She Look, she be sitting there uh, twitching and talking. She got PTSD, y'all. She nah. make me nervous. I, I don't like talking to her. <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> if you Harris Moore makes me itch. Look here, bro. If you've been locked <laughs> underground on a planet, Full of a bunch of zombies, cause that's basically what thralls are. They're a bunch of fucking zombies. I feel, you gonna be kind of twitchy too. I feel like her story out of everybody else's is the dopest story. It is her. You, she got a dope story. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what? I don't care about you right now, though. Normally I would say spoiler alert, but you're gonna get these spoilers. So <laughs> <laughs> So if anybody who's already beat the moon, you know they always give you this bonus quest after you finish the initial quest per each base. Well, her bonus quest is her fire team has been haunting her. So for every weekly quest, like they did with the Gambit uh, in season seven, if you find out more and more about each person and you have to, in so many words, help vanquish their soul for her. And then once you vanquish their soul, you get a chest. Once you've done all the vanquishing, there's a mission in the little trophy room where if you activate it, you start 
to get the Xenophase gun. But the tripped out part about it is, is after you vanquish each ghost or each spirit of her teammates, they tell you the story of how that teammate fell. Because if you remember from D1, her introduction was she's the last survivor of her fire team that Ikora sent to the moon to figure out what was going on with the hive. Mm-hmm. And so ass whipped. Yeah, and they got handed to them. Uh, but now it's more so she's still there because like a typical person who's been to war, you don't know how to acclimate back to society. Of so course. you go back you go back to the war torn country and you live there. So she went back to the moon basically. So now she's kind of a spy for Ikora, but she's also being tormented at the same time. So, so let oh, me ask you this question before you go any further. If if right. Tolan was still alive who would you turn to for information about the hive? Would it be Eris or would it be Tolan? Because I I'm think gonna, trying to learn the Death Singer song is as crazy as it gets. True. And they're both, you know, one in the same. They both want to learn everything they pop. Uh, Eris Morn kind of had to learn everything about the hive to right. get survive. out of yeah to survive. Whereas Tolan was just crazy and he just wanted to learn everything about the hive. So I, I like would, the shooting on Destiny too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would. Yeah, they are. I would actually roll with Eris only because she has been where we've been. It's like a scholar versus a soldier. Okay. Mm, a scholar right. wants a scholar wants to learn everything they possibly can, but they'll believe what they see in the books. Whereas the soldier will say, "Hey, that is not what it's like on the front line." Yeah. <laughs> okay. And and Eris is if anybody's been on the front line, it's her. Okay. Her and Shaq, the only two people I trust. <laughs> mm-hmm. When they told the story about the mountaintop with Shaq, I was like, oh, Shaq's is by far the most gutterest player. People think he Lord Saladin, but I think Lord he's the most gutterest player of the Wait, so what happened with Shaq? What what they, happened with Shaq's on the mountaintop? So they have a uh they tell the story of the um of the uh the Twilight Gap. So the you know yeah. the map that we play on in in Crucible, that it's, actually you. if you look off into the into the, the 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 skyline, you can see the wall where they were trying to protect. Well, on that yeah. wall, they set they had a war against the uh, against the fallen, and right. uh, it was him. Uh, I think I think they mentioned Ephrodite there, uh, the guy that had the. Uh, Luna's how the fate bringer. Yeah. Yeah, dude oh, with the yeah. Fate yeah, with the fate bringers. Oh, in uh in, in Saint forty four. And Saint Fort yeah. So yeah, or or fourteen. Yeah, Saint point. fourteen. Well, he they tell the story because we just the mountaintop is just a crucible gun that you get. You know, they but the story behind it was, you know, he's on top of the wall shooting people with the with the grenade launcher from up top there. But the you know, they since since Destiny One came out, grenade launchers weren't in the game. So as right. they, when they added it to it, like people, you were able to use your imagination and create. Like people created posters of him standing on top of a wall with just this grenade launcher looking epic. Right. Like he is his cape is all tattered because they spent days out there fighting. So you imagine shooting people with uh, galahorns and mountaintops, and it just made it. The it made that story about him just crazy right. good. So that's the why. Yeah, the folks, best way to describe the story, the best way, the, the easiest way to describe the story in your head, think of the hot gates in the three hundred. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's probably the Ooh. best way to say. It. Yeah, folks, let me let me tell y'all something. We once again, all three of us play this game. You can see this dumb look on my play. face if you if you, you don't look. play it. No, I play. I Crucible. say he's a crucible player. That's okay. I'm I, a get crucible that. Player. I get that. Like, I because I'm a monster. He a I was out there hurting souls. He a crucible <laughs> player, and I was. Tr- I just was trying. Like I was telling. I think you can uh, attest to this. Once you do like the main story and the quests and take care of all of the the weekly stuff, crucible is all you should do after that. Like if you beat the Fact. raid once, and you don't care to go back to get anything specific from the raid, just play crucible after that. But I would try to get this dude to complete the story. I'm like, complete the story so we can run all of these things together real quick and then play Crucible. But nah, he don't want to do it. And then I, mean, I, I fell off you. for a month. I wasn't playing. So no, but I think this is a this shows how good the game is. Yeah. That we here it is. We're all looking at it from multiple angles. 
playing the same exact game. I didn't know any of these stories. I didn't know Lord Shax was in the field. I thought he was just some old timer who was sitting out there issuing uh, crucible. Like I, <laughs> but, but robots. I'm, the fact that I've got <laughs> over two hundred something hours in this game, and I didn't know that, but I'm still having fun. That that just shows how good the game is. And I'm a guy who used to talk a lot of crap on it, which you guys got recordings of we me still, crapping all over this hey. game because it was crap at one point in time. Okay, yeah, like, exactly. So now that like, let's be honest. It. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no go. I was you about go. to say, so far. With Destiny at this point now, what are the things that are wrong with it now for you? You want to know one of the big things that's wrong with it for me right now? Yeah. We don't know what the fuck is going to come next. Mm. Oh, you don't like that? You know look what? The, look, You're spoiled. But look at the history. But look, Bungie no, no, no. has you spoiled got, you. <laughs> true, but you got to look at it from this realistic point of view. Every season, every year, I can't even say season, every year you've given us a roadmap to what to expect. Okay. Whether it didn't, whether it was here's the season of the Undying, the season of the Drifter, the season of this, whatever. Even when we were in the DLC world, you knew what the next two or three DLCs were mm-hmm. because no matter how you want to look at it, it's still a business first. Yep. So if Facts. you want us to stay here, we need to know what we're walking into and spend okay. the $10. I'm going to tell right. you why I disagree. So, uh, for one, when we were D, when in, let's even go back to D1. D1. We knew about the DLCs because we pre-ordered them. So they, you go out, you pre-order. We, we pre-ordered what? It was three of them. It was yeah. It's always mm-hmm. at least three. Yeah. So it was three DLCs that you pre-order. One of them, we knew what we were gonna get, and because we knew what we were gonna get, instantly it became the worst DLC, which was the one with Skolos. Everything they had to turn around, just like what they did in D two last year. They had to turn around, or this year, or yeah, last year, end of last year. They had to turn around and make a big 180 change. In D1, it was the Taken King. In D2, it was the Forsaken. Facts. So we Facts. knew everything was what was gonna happen. So when they, I think when they put out road mats, and I said, and we, and me and Baron has have, have had this conversation before on here before. When they put out road maps on this game, it ruins not only the story because at the time, remember, the story wasn't really in the game. You had to go elsewhere to read the story. So now people are True. diving through API. Now people are making videos on it and you're watching on YouTube, especially if you were like me, because I was crazy about it. I'm all over the place. I'm even going to their their website and reading the the lore on different characters. This is why we can have these, you know, conversations about like Eris Morn and all of that. So they go around and they put the story out before or even not even before this the game out, but or before the DLC, but a year in a year before the whole thing released, you already know what to expect. You already know what's just gonna happen. So when they don't do it now, it's like okay, you got a mystery. We know that this year is gonna be about the moon. We know that it's gonna True. be about the moon. It's gonna be about the darkness, the undying thing. When they came out with the undying thing, we knew we were gonna see the undying mind because that was in the the beginning of the roadmap. But now I'm only it only makes me excited because the season of Undying was trash, I thought. But the story of the darkness, the story of Eris, the story of the nightmares, all of that stuff being in the game right now kind of makes it seem, all right, where are they gonna go with that? I'm kind of excited for that. Like I said, the Undying stuff, I think that was a waste of my time. I think the title is a waste of my time, even though I'm trying to get it. I just with the story now going so going forward with the the moon. Eris, all of that stuff. I'm excited to see what they do next. So I okay. didn't want them to ruin it for me. And I don't know. And I don't think a lot of people will agree because, like I said, Bungie is. They have spoiled us. They have given us everything in it a week or two in advance. This is why you got your super preppers. People doing uh, when they came out with the artifact. People got 63 bounties sitting on their character waiting. <laughs> when the DLC but if drops. you've ever but if you've been playing destiny since day one mm-hmm. stacking yo shit is something that you were gonna have to do regardless of anybody course. who knows anything that's that's just you got to do that yep. all right i mean it does give them some kind of an unfair advantage in situations for like new players because mm-hmm. with destiny changing how they did things and even better the cross play that's or the cross point. save you know it's kind of a disadvantage. Yeah, but that's, that's here's a great my point. but here's my issue with the not knowing. It everything you said is fantastic, and I'm dope with that. But you have to look at 
what season in the real world are we in right now? We're getting ready to roll into the holiday season. So for a company yeah. whose whole goal is to prove to everybody who's been rocking with y'all for the last five years that you did not need AccuVision to make this happen, you're dropping the ball on one of the most important things is what do you do to make all these new buyers, these new gamers, these new everything want Destiny 2? Yeah. Especially everything up to Forsaken is free. Yeah. Why would I want to download your game? And more importantly, why do I want to buy the paid portion of the game? You so, see? When you say that now. Ooh, do you, you think. S- oh, go ahead. Oh, no. What are you about to say, B? Do you think. Do you feel. And this question for both of you guys. Do you feel they devalued themselves in a way. In a, they, they put it. They took a hit by making it free to play. Do no. you think that? No. Okay. They actually saved themselves. You have to think about it. So many people left Destiny alone simply because everything was not getting the value worth. Like, let's be honest, dog. They fucked us with the tr- with the Osiris DLC. Yeah, the, right. the Osiris DLC was, was the worst. Big time. Big time. That Big pushed time. me away. Right. It pushed a lot of us away. So to get us to come back, we had you had to give us something. Okay. Forsaken, fantastic recovery. But the problem was. We got some of our players back, but how do we get new players now? Because new players didn't even want to touch it because they knew that the Osiris DLC was trash and this is what's expected going forward. So what do you do is, okay, we want y'all to focus on this new shit that Bungie themselves is putting together. We want you to focus on the Bungie content. We don't want you to focus on the AccuVision context because, let's be honest, we don't want to give AccuVision any more motherfucking money. So anything that's tied to AccuVision stamp, that's free. That way, if you don't ever do anything else, you are going to play the AccuVision portion of it for free, probably get hooked. They open it up that you don't even have to go in order, bruh. So year, yeah. would you say year two, well, well um, that's kind of a, would you say year two, obviously was year two better than year one, right? Most definitely. All right, so since oh, year yeah. two was better than year one, does Activision's first step, which is now, which is Shadow Keep and the season of the Undying, is that ha- has that been better than anything in year two, which was Forsaken, uh, Season of Opulence, the Drifter thing? Um, was it because right now for me, I would rather anything, any one of the DLCs from year two, I would take over this season that we just got. The season okay. of the Undying. I think Forsaken was better. I think the raid was better, which I and I haven't even played the new raid, but I've watched it enough to know like the Dog, I don't even stuff. I can't even tell you I can't even tell you last time I stepped in the raid. Bruh. And it has nothing to do with the raids themselves. Yeah. It's 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 my team. Yeah. Okay. Uh shout out to Ravenwood. That's my clan. I've been riding with them since day one. But my clan kind of done went their separate ways. Uh, so there's a set team of raiders and there's a set team of adventurers and a set team of crucible people yeah. and trying to match my schedule up with the, with the raiding team. It's not as easy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I got an empire to run. Okay. I ain't got time to raid. <laughs> <The empire. laughs> yeah, Ra- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know right now Ra- with raiding. Once you get a team and y'all learn the mechanics, yeah. it becomes easy. It's like, all right, well, cool. Tuesday night, we'll run all of the raids and that's, all three and that's what happens. And that's that. But for me, I, the clan... Psych, that ain't never worked for me. Every time I jumped on, we'd be on for hours, not finishing. never play thing. with me. <laughs> <laughs> I not tried to, I, Man, I tried to get him in a raid, and um, it just didn't work out. I had they the went and looked at my Xbox. API and was like, nah, he trashed, yeah, he son. He got the guy <laughs> on <board. We> <laughs> Sometimes it don't work, bro. <laughs> but no, I feel you, though. But yeah. yeah, that's my reason why I don't raid. I'll do everything else on the game. Mm-hmm. Like... I'm a I'm a great solo player okay. because I like to play because y'all know I play in between doing real world shit. Of course, like I'm editing right now. Like I stopped editing because yeah. I didn't want it to mess up y'all feed. But I'm editing. When I'm editing, I play Crucible. I go to the moon. I be in the Vanguard. I'm still trying to get this damn fucking gun. Like I'm doing something mm-hmm. that's gonna keep me occupied. Because what Destiny gun are you always- working on? Shit, one gun. What gun ain't I working on? Let's keep it real. <laughs> uh, I gotta I get gave, that Randy's. I'm gonna try to get it. Tonight. Yeah, that, that I'm definitely working on the Randy's. I gotta get that tonight. Uh, that's the big gun I'm working on. And I realized that I didn't do half the shit I was supposed to do to get the truth. 
So I'm trying to finish mm. up my shit for the truth. Uh, the, the, but is that like the sniper rifle, no, nah, the the, the, the old uh, school rocket launcher that tracked from D1, the overly oh, aggressive rocket launcher. Yeah, that shit's a beast in Gambit. That's all yeah. I use in Gambit. But, that, uh, no, I, use my, I use my I knew I use my bow in in, in uh, Gambit now. Those are so, oh, man, I hate no. When, did when you, you no? Whoa, whoa, with whoa. A bow in Gambit, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is so disgusting. Do you have? Do you have the heavy bow though? The Leviathan's uh, breath. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Yeah. I okay. Got it. Well, there's a heavy bow. I told yeah, a heavy bow now. Do it, bro. See, I'm out here flying he around with one. Went... <laughs> Look, I'm flying around here with one with firefly and like head explosion, something yeah. else on it, and I'm, I'm out here just tips. feeling like Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, get this, you get this heavy bow, bro. You the gonna be going bow. at bosses with it. Yeah, that that's like a beast. It is. Hopefully they buff it. All right. So when me saying that, what do you? That's stupid. What do you? What do you feel? Yeah, about, good, how do you feel sir. about the the Destiny community as, as a whole? Now that they now that they've basically brung all the communities together, it's better. Okay, it is. It is. Um, I don't know if y'all really pay attention to your consoles, but there are communities now built on each console yes. that you can interact with based on per game. Yes. Now, because I usually just hang out with my rate my uh my clan buddies. Regardless of whatever game we playing, we all still a good clan together. I don't really interact with the communities as much. But when I went over to the Xbox world, because I have the PlayStation in my office area and I have my Xbox in my room, and with cross save, bro, when I'm telling you, I don't feel like being in the office today. I go in the room and play Destiny, play Xbox, pick up yeah. exa- nice. pick exactly where I left off at. But my friends are not over there. That's where the community comes into play at for me. Like I'll go make friends in the community and we will just do random shit together. And it's not as toxic as let's say the COD community. Oh yeah. It's, oh, yeah. it's not, a, it's COD not as childish. Yeah. childish. Yeah. It's not as childish as the, the Fortnite community, yeah. you know, got you because destiny players are destiny loyalists. You're right. I yeah. mean, yes, some of us left because we felt, underappreciated but season seven and season eight made us come home like we came to visit grandma and when we got here and we realized grandma got all the good shit okay for real Eddie Bonds. right in fact, she got yeah, the exactly. she got the name brand cereal yeah. so we stayed Man. and a slide yeah. of 20 I'm a, in your hand i'm gonna right. te- I'm 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 tell you uh i think everything you said is i is 100 correct i don't I've always, I you always made me loved, put my bow on. <laughs> <laughs> I've always oh. loved the Destiny community because their word meant something. Whereas right. when you think about the COD community, which was underneath the same umbrella, Activision umbrella at one point, when they said something, their developers and their teams didn't care. Like, right. we're going to do it our way and our way only. And sometimes that's what you need. Because right. we've had that conversation too. Is like, okay, where at what point does the game still be? Beca- is your game? Like these so are your ideas. Fixes. These are, yeah, you know, what I'm saying. But Whereas that, with but Destiny, it's when they say something, they D just but, on the forms. Hey, you know, the team is looking at it right now. We'll get back to you guys, and then they come back, and when they hit you with some numbers, they'll be like, oh, the Xenophage was underwhelming, so we're gonna buff it fifty percent. I'd be like, that, damn, that's kind of fast. Bro. <laughs> right, but that's my but that's my love hate with the Destiny devs. Uh-huh. I love the fact that they are human beings, so they interact with you as the same. Yeah, you know they play their own game, so they're not mm. purposefully putting out a product because Big Daddy says we drop it on the 29th, so we gonna drop on the 29th. Yeah, if it drops on the 29th, on the 30th, you're getting a notification saying, "Hey, man, we found out A B C D was buggy." This is what we gonna do. Prime example: What's the exotic fusion rifle? Uh, oh, I can't can't Telesto? think of the name of it. Telesto. Oh, yeah. Telesto has a bug right now where if you shoot at the ground five or six times and then throw a grenade on it, oh. it instantly fills up your super. Yeah, that's what that um that's what that uh Word? that that, yeah. that uh artifact mod. Right, because of the artifact. So they but, they patch that, but it's still no, no, works but, but, with but no, grenade launchers. Is, Right, it does. But this is the thing about it. 
the minute they did it, they didn't say, guess what? Y'all can't use Telesto. No, they just would not let you equip it. Yeah. So they yeah, is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. So they did that. They've done that. So they've done that before. Oh. I don't know if you remember. They've done that. They they did that with uh, not only with Telesto, but they also did that with uh, with Yoten. Right. They did it with Yoten and I hate that damn gun. They did it. With I love that else. damn gun. <laughs> I get killed by it way too much. And, dude, okay. no, but see on the you, flip side. Oh, go ahead. I go teach ahead. you how to beat that gun. I can teach you how to beat that gun real quick. What's your character? Uh, yeah, I, hunter, I use a hunter. You know what? You are the number one bastard I hate because you are the hardest ones to hit with Yoten. All you have to do <laughs> is when somebody aims a Yoten at you, the minute that the rocket is almost the size of your head, shade step. It will oh. not hit you. Uh, oh, because you lose aim assist after that. Yep. Oh, y'all done messed up. See, Thank so me now later. I'm back. I took <laughs> I took later. a break. I was on Blessed Unleashed making my two dollars and seventy five cents, getting the bag. But now you're done. <laughs> getting the bag. You, you yeah. Yoten users, you're done. <laughs> you're done. No, because I because honestly, yeah, bro, I'm... Yoten used to be my gun. Like I was in a comp and I was stuck in a two on four. Nope, take that back. I was stuck on a one on three by myself. Ooh. Broke out my Yoten. I still lost. But I went from a three and oh to a four and three loss. Damn. Bro, I I I think you went Tony them, Montana. <laughs> I wasn't nah, gonna take no air. Listen, when, I, when you see when you when they make those decisions, like it, it makes me say, All right, they knew they they knew they messed up. And some right. most of the time I think they do it on purpose. I think they say, you know what, let's do it and see what they say. And then I believe that you know they got it in their back believe. pocket. Oh yeah, we'll do this because I believe that. For example, when when the Yoten glitch, the Yoten glitch was fi was figured out a week before the raid came, or not a week before, or no, a week before the um the DLC dropped, and then they dropped the twab the when the when the twab came out and they or the this week at Bungie the article on Thursday when it came out they said all right yeah we're we're just gonna disable it until contest mode is off. Which is the first day period of the raid, because this was the first right. time they dropped the raid on a Saturday. Right. So when they did it, it was like, okay, cool. Yeah, we're not taking it from you. It's just temporary. And right. what they could, what they should have done with Prometheus Lynn, but what they did, what they do, and this is this is where I knew they bit themselves when they bit themselves in the foot, or when they kicked themselves in the mouth. He goes, remember they said, oh yeah, we don't control Zer. He's Automatic or no, he's real. He's randomized where we don't control. Uh, what he, he was says. not. He was not random. What they do? Prometheus Lynch dropped when the Warmind DLC came out, and it was like, all right, yeah, to combat the Prometheus Lens rampant in the Crucible, we're gonna give it away for free for everybody at Sir. So all you need is your twenty three strange coins, and you got Prometheus right. Lens. I was like, man, all us D one fans is like, uh, I thought y'all couldn't control. Y'all couldn't control Sir. When everybody wanted the Gallahorn, the Gallahorn to come back, it was Dude, 40. We all we all knew that the Gallahorn was never going back to Zer. We knew Man, that, and it did not go back weeks. to Zer. It 42. did not go back to Zer until the last. That. And you know the sad part, bro, was the very first time Zer came out. That was the very first that gun I got gun. from Dog. Nobody knew what it was all about, though. It had know. like, and it, I broke it down trying to level up my character. Never got it again. Mm -hmm. What pissed me off was the day before Zer dropped and he had it, I fucking got in the strike. <laughs> wow. And then, all BS aside, ever since then, anytime I got an exotic drop, it ended up being the gun Zer would have. Mm. Yep. Every single time. That sucks. With the exception like of the Hawk sex. Moon. I got the Hawk Moon so early in the game, my buddy quit. Because that's the the only gun he wanted, and I got it. <laughs> oh, you know what? That gives me another question. What What do you feel about the 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 reusal of content? For example, like the word that "No Time to Explain" is coming back. Hawk Moon is coming back. I.e., how do you feel about that? All right. So, I've always said that if you do Destiny right, it should be its own MMO. I'm glad that this last this new DLC they finally called it an MMO. They couldn't. They finally that's what got, it is. Yeah, but they couldn't call it that. It's yeah, got it called it it. Right, and we got that, and I, I understood that. But now that we officially have it called exactly what it is as an MMO, 
you have to do what MMOs do and make everything exist at one time. That's yes. why we have the moon back. It's moon. altered moon, but it's still the same moon. Did you read what they said about that though? What? How what? the the game is is at a point where they cannot save certain con- Oh my bad. They cannot save certain content. So for example, season 8, we have the Vex offensive after this season that goes away forever. So the and, I can, and all of that but stuff that makes, you can't get but, because but I like deals, that it's so big that they can't continue to control everything. That's why people thought they were going to get rid of the only reason why they couldn't get rid of the um the forges was because of the exotic quests, which is something they said at, they did that. That's panel why you have interview. one. And yeah, exactly. that's why you still got one. And it rotates. But that's all you need. Yeah, it rotates. Yeah. So that means when you pick the bounty, you got to be tricky with. It. And I like that. But you know what? Getting rid of stuff and making it a, a one and done, I like that simply because that makes needing to play the game that much more important. You're one percent. Yeah, you, know, you do got to put in your time. Yeah, right. So you got to put in your time. You got to do every season. You know exactly what your pinnacle weapons are going to be. You know what your exclusive missions are going to be, and that's it. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? You remember back on the old on D1 on the Cosmodrome when we first started getting uh, House of Wolves. Mm -hmm. And it used to be that random ass fallen that you had to kill to kick off whatever little side quest it was was going on. Yeah. Of course, when we then rolled over to the new DLC, bro wasn't roaming on the Cosmodrome no more. That made that particular mission that much more important because you missed the opportunity to probably earn a gun or two that you can't ever get again. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, even if you look in D2 right now, there's a bunch of guns that are gone that you can never get again. Yeah, There there is... Makes it special. but this It makes it special. This is the thing, though. The the reason why with D2, the D2 guns, I don't like, though, I didn't like the fact that they don't, they didn't bring them back was because most of those guns we didn't get to experience with random rolls. So most of the guns were just static rolls. So when they started bringing, when they brought back the service revolver, when they brought back um, the pulse rifle, which I think that the nightshade, that was right. my favorite gun. I love that game. And then yeah, they bring gun, it back yeah. and it has random rolls. And it had a, a, a curated roll. The first roll you get from Zavala, that's a curated roll. That because he can't get under pressure without it being the creative role from him. I was like, oh, that that makes it 10 times better because this was my favorite gun, but now it's even better now because of the random role aspect behind it. I still got my year one. It's a gang of random, (laughs) like, like the um, what's that revolver looking uh, gun? Uh, the old fashioned. Imagine that with random roles on there. And I you know what, bro? I don't even have my old fashioned no See? more. And you, you know the only way to go, <laughs> you know the only way to go get it without it without the collections is uh what's the dude name? The Cryptarch. Yeah. Go to him you and just buy those it. Ingrams and you'll get them, but you're wasting yeah. legendary shards. So you're wasting plenty of legendary shards to do it. But but that's the thing I like about it. It's it makes you appreciate the gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because right now in my vault, and I still use it every day is my avalanche machine gun it's a a solar it's a solar machine gun you can't get that gun ever again okay what about when the dawning comes back they probably bring it back yeah that's what i'm saying so there's going to be certain guns that are going to come back gallahorn will probably be the very last gun on anybody's list that would ever come back now that leads me to another conversation guns like that need to be deleted from the game just like just like recluse just like, and I don't no, think first I don't of all, think recluse. First of all, no, give me no, a blue, gonna, the blue no, anti oak. I don't no, think wow, I don't think not taking that. my recluse. I don't, don't take my recluse. I don't think I worked I don't hard think for it. Pinnacle weapons should be deleted. I just think when they when guns like that become the end all be all, like if you ain't got that gun, you can't play with me. It becomes think, this factor of like now I don't because for example, look, I want to play with B. B ain't got none of the guns we talking about. So imagine if what, I'm in though? a party I and I'm like, work, son. don't <laughs> sleep on me like do that. Work okay. against bots. I tell me I don't be murdering <laughs> people with saying. blue weapons. Yeah, he, he I shoots get what bots. you're saying. <laughs> hey, there's certain blue weapons out there, folks, for that those who play that are, are way than... better. That shit. Like, I got a blue yeah. uh, um, auto rifle 
um, and a blue uh, Let him be 900 happy, rate of fire uh, submachine All gun. Destiny fans is laughing at you right now. Oh, no. Y'all laugh all you no. want, son. End Real up talk. on my kill cam. Real talk, though. Real talk, though. I, I, I respect him because there are some blue guns that will, that will get work. If you yeah. skill, you know what it is. It is it, it's more so skilled than anything. Like going back to what Trav was saying. Yeah. Yes, you do have these particular people who you have to be at a certain light level. You have to have a certain kind of gun mm-hmm. to run with them. Them are the people who are not playing the game as it was meant to be. Yeah, they're playing to say they completed something and they have Damn. a checklist that they have to get done. And by having these particular weapons, it makes whatever huh. point. I'm gonna tell easier. you. I'm gonna tell you right Raiders now. Raiders are heavy with that. No one ever played. Huh. If oh. that's the case, no one ever played the game the way it was meant to be because. When even in D1, after any raid came out and you knew the mechanics for a raid, it was, hey, I need a raid team. We're doing three raids. Nobody leave. If you don't know what you're doing, you're getting kicked. If you don't right. got Gallahorn, you get getting but, kicked. If you don't. But that's, it, and, but and that's because sun- but that's because people don't want the challenge. See, me, I like playing games for the challenge. I take on challenges even solo. Me and my buddy uh, Javier, okay, goes by Dr. Zeus on on PlayStation. We would love, we would go into strikes, nightfalls, when you can go solo. Mm -hmm. Solo. Why? Because it tested our skills. It made us learn how to use guns. It made us learn how to use different sets. Especially because when you go on the raid, everybody has a job. But eventually you have to learn somebody else's job because if that person's not there, you still need to get this raid done. Yeah. Okay? And that's why I'm a big fan of doing raids and people switching roles. Not changing mechanics or changing the way you do it, but switching roles. So like, right. if, for example, if we were to jump into a raid, I would want B to do all of the hard stuff. Because once you do, once you do all of the mechanic-based stuff or the hard things in a raid, everything else becomes super easy. For example, Back. Crown of Sour, Crown of Sorrows. That raid was so dope only because the fact that you had to do everything. There was no way for you us to complete it if you didn't if we didn't switch on time. I I don't know if you played the Crown of Sorrows raid yet, but um I did. Okay, so if you didn't switch on time, you was dying. If you didn't kill the crystal on time, you was dying. In your area, right. you was see stuff like that is why it's dope cuz now you can go anywhere in that arena, and I'm talking about the boss fight, anywhere in that arena and know what to do. You know a crystal's going to spawn. You know it moves clockwise. You know that once you, you know the ogre. You got to kill the ogre. Stuff like that. So, I'm a firm believer of that. The one thing I don't like, though, is jumping into a raid with people who clearly either, they clearly don't know what to do and don't won't say it. So, now we just, hey man, why you keep dying? I was just in a raid like that the other day. Why you keep dying, bro? And he not saying nothing. He not talking. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> y'all mind your business. This is the LFG but most of the time, But most of the time, them are people who are not even fully focused on the right. Yeah. Uh, we have care. There, there's people who like to get carried in everything. We're not going to lie. You know, I have no problem carrying with people as long as you listen and you admit that you don't know what you're doing. Like, like what Trav's saying. Just admit that, like, hey, bro. I've never done this raid before. If we say, hey, this is your job, do A, B, C, D, that's all you do. Yeah. Focus on that. Now, once you've gotten accustomed to doing A, B, C, D, now go over here and learn what EFG is mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. we're not going to be here to carry you. Matter of fact, me and my clan believe in paying it forward. If we carry you through the raid, when you get good, you carry somebody else. Yeah. You know, bring the fun back to the game by getting more people involved and helping them. Like I said, I don't raid with my clan as much as I, I should or I used to because I don't have the time to. But if they wanted to raid right now, I would say, let me finish this recording and I'll jump right in the raid with them. It, I don't even know what the fucking raid we doing. But because I want to help my peoples get where they're supposed to be at, yeah. I'm going to jump on this raid. Now, if it's a raid I haven't done, it's like, hey, my guys, I'm going to let you know right now, I ain't done this. So if you can find somebody else who know what they're doing, go for it. If you can't, let's do this. Have Point you, me in the right direction and give me two guns. Have you been Man. in a uh, a day one raid race yet? I don't have the patience for a day one raid. Damn, man. See, uh, if I could put together a squad, I would love to try it because of that, the difficulty factor. 
No one knows See, what and, to do. No right, one knows how I, to do stuff. I want to try that one day, man. I would do it. And don't get me wrong, Trav, because you my boy, I would do it. Mm-hmm. I'll grab I grab you two, maybe three people I know for a fact who would be down, but timing is, is the only issue. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's no, you the only hey, issue. I know all about that, man. I'm right there in the boat with you with, with timing and stuff too. But um, if I just if if the stars aligned and four leaf clover popped up, and I was able to, you know, be able to have that day off, nothing to do, nothing to record. Oh hell yeah! I would hell love yeah. to try it because. Of the like I said, that difficulty factor. A, a lot of people don't want that challenge. So, cause a lot, what, cause what the community is is, hey, you watch the elitist, the one percent people play, complete it, and then videos come out. Then it's you watch the video, and then you go do it. This is why you don't have well, but, a lot of people doing the day one raids. This is why you don't have a lot of people completing the day one, because it's true. I don't care about it. I just want to wait till the video, till such and such drop the video. And then me and my team will go try it because that the, sounds sad. Yeah, but that's the game and community. That's Baron, what are you, Baron? That's you. You're that community now. No, I, I just group. don't raid. Period. No, no, no. <laughs> what I no. What I mean. What I mean by that is you're the guy who makes the content now that people oh, yeah. wait for to do it. Yeah. So on one side of the coin, you might say that's sad because you're not putting forth the effort. But we all have that one friend. Who doesn't have the patience? Yeah. So yeah. you need you need the content to guide <laughs> this person along, at least for them to see an idea of what needs to be done. I'm gonna tell to you, calm their nerves, so you can all go in and try it. So when y'all all mess up, it's not a blind. The one thing people hate about raid is a blind raid. Okay. I hate going into blind raids with a bunch of impatient people. Mm-hmm. Like the first time we walk in, you see a wall full of TV screens, and you don't know what the fuck to do. So you spend the whole two hours just shooting everything that's in front of you, but we're not figuring out the mechanics. Exactly. I remember <laughs> that one where the screen would light up red. Is that yeah. one you was talking yeah, about? That yeah, I, I was on that duty. Shoot it when it light up. Got right. it. Right. <laughs> but the first time, but let's be honest. Hold the left leg. Hold the left leg. Jump in the room. Yep. I, that right. was me. Right. Uh, that was honest, Wrath of the very Machines. First time, Man, that was the very rating. first time you walked into that room. If you didn't have that video, you oh. would just think that, you know, Mojo was going to pop up on the screen yeah. and, and, and laugh at you or something. You didn't know what to do. Man, it took it, you a while to catch it's on. It's scary that that's how Destiny has been. Well, for me at least, because. I, like I said, and and both of you guys can attest to it. Being day one, being hardcore raiders, being I'm talking about. You see how you talk about you had two warlocks. Imagine creating three in one week. This is this is Atheon days. Creating three one week, beating the raid three times, deleting two, starting them over. Doing it all up to where I can do the raid, transferring gears, doing the raid two more times, not getting you the shit I wanted much. to get. <laughs> no, he was a monster, bro. bro. When I, I remember when you, you accidentally deleted your hunter. Yeah, I deleted my hunter on accident, and I had to get had all your gear back. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that if you accidentally deleted, if you contact Bungie, Bungie would give you your character back. I I twittered them. I reddited them. They wasn't looking at me, no. <laughs> probably because they probably because they see what you was doing. Right? But, was like, but, but see, this it. is the thing. This right. is this is the thing. And any <laughs> anybody that plays any type of MMO, any type of uh, any game like this, these are the options I have. I'm extra grinding your game. I wasn't cheating. I feel you. I wasn't, you wasn't. doing. The, I wasn't exploiting you, you, anything. You was playing I was, within the circle. Yeah, I literally was trying to get the Vex Myth class. When I tell you, I yeah, sat there, I, I deleted a countless amount of times. I've deleted two characters, deleted my whack Titan, my whack Hunter, made two more, just trying to. I'm just, I don't care about the gear. I just want the gun. And I'm, this is even back to the days where you didn't even have to beat Atheon. You do, you can, excuse me, knock him off the cliff with the solar grenades. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Hey, right, you want to hear something funny though? I didn't actually. I think I actually didn't run that raid and get to that part oh. until one week before the patch. So when everybody was spamming, dude, I'm like, okay, this is cool. Bruh. I see why y'all doing it because I got my fate breaker that very first time too. <laughs> Niggas hated me. I'm hell telling yeah, you, Cold, yeah. cold as hey, hand. Okay. Game. 
cold as, I, cold as hand can. Oh, that guy. was the Templar. Remember, you yes. can knock the Templar off too with the yeah, solar the grenades. Too. Yeah. See, I think there's certain people's accounts who magically get all the weapons. Because I know with me, I get no weapons. I no, get bro. none. I and that's been from D one. I'm gonna tell I you. I think I got a glitch that followed my name because even you remember, try I would get no weapons. I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, it's on, only it's the people who don't play that much that are being that carried or stuff like yeah. that because they get rewarded. See. Me, it wouldn't bother me. I may get the gun before you, right? But I've played the raid nine 12 times. So you're like, man, I did it. It's my fifth time. Like, for example, uh, what's the raid? Scourge of the Pass. Man, I did the raid 60 times and I still ain't got the the, the anarchy. I did it 12. And I got it. You know, I did it. I did it 12 and I got it. Oh, I'll help you. But, you know, it's so... And then people who play it consistently, they like the first thing they do on Tuesdays is raid. They don't do nothing else. They just go straight to the raiding. Right. Those are the people who are going to get it because they, that's what they want. They pimp what, they, what want. they want it and that's what they're going to get. And Im imagine if you could delete a player in this game. <sighs> Bro, I'm deleting every week because <laughs> I don't have to play the story mode again. I don't have to do none of the extras. I can just Ooh, transfer I my stuff that. over. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? But now you have to. You have to get to 50 before yep. you can do anything, and you have to beat part, certain parts of the story mode before you can. So nobody wants to do all of that. So I'm going to just do it three times, and I'm going to wait till Tuesday. Right. That's it. <laughs> but, okay, so I got a question for you guys. Has there ever been a gun that you've been grinding for, and you've seen somebody else get the gun instead of you? Yeah. And mm -hmm. they don't deserve it. I can tell you, I multiple, it I can tell you multiple times. Uh my 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 brother in law, when the when the forges came out, I was trying to get the rampage kill clip, uh, kindled orchid. He got okay. it twice. He got that role twice before they came out with creative roles. He got it twice before I got it. Before I got it, hey, once. I'll, be, I'll be pissed too, bro. I was pissed off about that. Uh, <clears throat> the um imago loop when they brought back the fate bringer, the same got my same brother in law. We in there grinding it out. Cause we want the we want the imago loot with the fate bringer rose. He got it once right. before me. That pissed me off. Um, Vex Smith the class. <laughs> I, I remember oh, them all. Man. I got bro. I, I did not. I did not get that gun until they rebrung out the way to get oh, the Vex. They wow. had to bump it up to like two hundred percent. Yeah, that's. I did not get that gun to them. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, out of all of the the times to play Destiny, that was one. Because when yeah, you that got that gun time. and you went into the Crucible, you were wrecking. Like the because it's an auto fusion rifle. That's all it was. That's all it was. But no, okay. So story time with Tom. When I used to play D one, I was always the guy who would get the guns before everybody else. Mm. Whether I use it or not, I used to get it. Did but you used to get booted? Did people used to boot you? <laughs> no, nah, I used to boot me. But my boy Terry used to quit. My boy Terry would quit. Oh, that's worse. He would quit playing. <laughs> and he wouldn't be mad at me personally. He just used to be mad at the role situation. Yeah. So when I think we were going into year two or year three, whenever the fourth horseman was a new exotic shotgun to add to the game, oh, I wanted that, that shotgun. Yeah. I want that, that shotgun so bad. Yeah, it was a four barrel shotgun. Full Ooh. auto. Yeah, full auto. Full auto. Okay, so imagine that shotgun in, like this, in this world. It, I think it was. It was. In, I think Borderland now inspired based on that gun. Bro, did you but, see? Did, oh, you know. Let's talk about that after. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, I was playing the Crucible, and this was at the time when after you beat, no, this was Iron Banner. It was during Iron Banner where you would get a guaranteed gun at the end of the, after so many matches won or whatever the case may be. Yeah. We were grinding. When I tell you, dog, this particular game, I had 62 kills. I Ooh. had 10 captures, and I had a kill rate of about a 4.5. Jeez. Okay? I was in beast mode this day because I wanted this damn gun. It was a dude on our team. It's crack. <laughs> Two kills, 40 deaths. He gets, <laughs> he gets the fucking gun. But he that was back. 
I remember I used to be bottom of the barrel getting good guns. Right. But I when I tell you, dog, I quit Destiny for the rest <laughs> of that year. I did not come back to Destiny until the new DLC season started back up. Sometimes bro. it's not. I just kid you get, not. It's sometimes it's not even just getting the gun. It's getting the gun with the perfect rolls. Like people who get the gun. Like I'm not mad if you get the gun I'm looking for, but if you get the roll I'm looking for, and you're not as ex- excited as I am <laughs> when Man, I when wanted I, it, I'm mad. I want to throw some. I was pissed, dog. Like I. I had never been I have never been pissed off to the level of pissivity that I was that particular day. <laughs> like my boy Terry, he he told me, like, dog, he's like on one side of me, I was like, that's what you get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other side of me, dog, I was pissed for you, bro. Mm. Because yeah. in that same game, now don't get me wrong, in that same game. Terry was busting his ass. My boy Zeus was busting his ass. Our other two guys was busting their ass. This random blueberry who mm, should not, not have blueberry. even been in the game. Who ain't even sprinting. He walking. <laughs> right. Right. I don't even I think he was AFK to be honest with you, dog. Ooh. Not only did he not do anything to help us, he gets the one, he gets the reward. Okay, mm-hmm. and I think that's what pissed everybody off was not because he got my gun, but the fact that he got the reward that you were supposed to get that round. That I've been looking for. Piss, piss. Yeah, don't, I obviously, don't, I eventually got the gun, and and I hated shotguns every since, and I hate shotguns this season because of that. Like this um, leaves a bitter taste in my mouth, dog. Well, because it's because you, no one like. The forges. The forges is the perfect example because you can do it to farm the specific weapon you want. The Facts. thing is, when I do fifty of them in a day, and it's not just oh you pick it up you go do the forge. No, you pick it up you complete three tasks to get the frame, then you go complete the forge. So right. factor in doing the th- the objective, then factor in uh, flying to the tower because on PlayStation that's a thing. <laughs> And uh, right. or on console, period, it's a thing because it takes forever. And flying back to the destination, driving all the way to the spot, starting it up, waiting for the that it's like a cool 30 minutes for one time. I did 50, and you'll understand how yeah. mad I was doing 50 of them. And this fool gets two, <laughs> and he's just trash. Don't be mad. <laughs> Dog, I took man, I've done that to my friend when the Hawk Moon. I'm trying to think of the name of the strike it used to be, but it's the one where you end up having to battle the big cabal at the end, uh, with the two with the two layers on the side of it, and one of them you can hide under the steps. Oh, you're I talking can't... about um uh man the it's yeah. not, I, is it Valis Tavar Valis Tahar? I think it was. I think that sounds Valis about Sahar. right. Yeah. That sounds like that sounds like a cabal name. So Mars. we gonna go with it. It was on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go with it. Bro, I'm about but to find the exact name. I... That's when I got the Hawk Moon, and it went to the postmaster because my storage was full. So we sitting here like, what did everybody get? What did everybody get? So I'm like, okay, I got some <laughs> boots and, and some shit. I got some coins and some shit like that. So we little things said we got. So we go go to the base, get ready to drop our stuff off. When I go to Postmaster and I see I have a package, I go to the package Uh-oh. and it's the Hawk Moon. Ooh. And I didn't know my guy was really searching for this gun. I was like, hey, I got this Hawk Moon in my vo- in my uh, Postmaster. He was like, look, you got what? Dog, you lying? Let me see. Let me see. So I took it out. I quit. But he looks at it. His, char- his character is literally walking around my character looking at the gun. Wow. Was like, All right, dog, I'm going to talk to y'all later. And he logs off. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, so I'm thinking yeah. something happened. So I'm thinking like something happened. Like, okay, something's should. going on with his little girl or, you know, his wife had to let him go. Or, you know, the base captain called him or something. He's like, mm-hmm. I got to go. Don't hear from him two, three days. So Damn. I log on one day, talk to my boy Zeus. Like, hey Zeus, man, you talk to Terry. He's like, yeah, dog. He said he ain't playing Destiny no more. Like, why? Why the hell he ain't playing <laughs> Destiny no more, dog? He's like, yeah, he didn't want to tell you because he didn't want to hurt your feelings and make it think it's personal. But he's pissed you got the Hawkman. 
It's like, duh. <laughs> if this was ESO, I would give him the Hawk Moon. Yeah. I don't care. I don't want to even. I don't use hand cannon. He can have the gun. He was like, yeah, that's why he's logged off because he knows you don't even want the gun. <laughs> I'm telling you that feeling, man. That feeling is it hit different. It hit you different, man. And yeah, I, I could, but, that could probably be get, probably go for any game where you can farm, especially when you farming right. with people. That's why I start playing by myself, man. No, I'm good. Um, let me come play with you. Nah, I turn my party. Yeah, hey, he don't even message me when he on. He don't even hit me. He know I I be by my station. He don't even be like, oh, a b, hey, I'm I'm running. Nah, he don't tell me nothing. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Man. I hit you up later, dog. Call you later. Hey, real, hey, real yeah, quick, because we're getting to that hard. final. Right, we get into that final, those final minutes. What's up with the um, exotic drops now? Is it is it like level blocked? Is it like what is it? Because I haven't gotten one exotic drop. They turned them the down. Entire time. They turned them down. Uh, they turned them down because people was getting them way too fast, which I agree with. So the fastest way to do to get them is to do powerful drop. Powerful drops have a chance to become exotic drops. Yep. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because when I kept getting the same pair of boots over and over and days. over again, yeah. um, and same thing with the chest the armor. Thumbies. Yeah, Birds. you constantly keep getting the same exotics <laughs> over and over again. It kind of takes away the the enjoyment of it because it's not like exotics have random roles. In most cases, it's the same role. The only way you get a random role on an exotic is if you cop a couple of them from Xur. Yeah. So they turned it down from the drops themselves. They want to focus more on the quests. They want you to focus more on Xur. Uh, like the places you're supposed to get exotics from. Yeah. So open gotcha. world because okay. you can get them right. in the open world. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. I, I have no problem with that. I'm completely not against it. Um, I just want you to give us more exotics than what we have though. Because yeah. if you're going to go through the process of bringing old weapons back because a lot of the old weapons have some of the easiest quests to be honest with you give us more new weapons you know yeah I'm, give us tweaks on some of them i don't care I'm, i think it should be a new exotic once a month personally well no nah, see they couldn't do that like a new exotic Why not? a new exotic each every month would kind of be too much because That's exotics only 12 guns a year yeah but exotics aren't like your arsenal, you you work around your exotics because you can only equip one. So True. imagine all of the exotics you got now. That's you don't use them. Well, well, well most of them you don't use. True. I'd rather use my legendaries over my exotics most of the time. Most very of the time, true. I only equip an exotic if like the activity, the activity I'm doing. It depends on whatever activity I'm doing. True. So like Gambit, it's True. always a heavy, always a heavy, uh, well, uh, a heavy exotic. Always, whether it's whether it's um, the thousand voices, truth, sleeper, whether it's that, and then even now when I'm playing on the moon, when I go to the moon, like right now I'm trying to do that uh, overlord, I'm trying to kill the last overlord on the archer line on the moon. Right. You, if you're not using Izanagi Burton, you're doing it wrong. And though, yeah. and to be honest, some of the exotic, like my vault exotic guns, if if it if it's not if it doesn't have a um, a catalyst to it where it shows like the kill counter, there's no point in me keeping it because I'm not using it. There's no point in me even using it because not when Recluse is running rampant. Recluse is the best gun in the game right now. That's why they got a nerf. Uh, I've defeated the Recluse on numerous occasions. Bro. Me too. Yeah, but you be hyping it up, but I be running no, around with my blue no, no, no. serving food. No, I'm, I'm not saying like the Recluse is definitely the go to gun. Like if I'm I'm, I'm in a pinch. And I'm getting my ass handed to me. I do run and go grab my recluse to, yeah. to neutralize them. I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, the thing I like about Destiny is there's so many combinations of weapons you can use that the trick is not to adjust to what they do, but to make them adjust to you. Mm -hmm. mm, but you, you know, know what's scary about that? You're one. You're you're probably the 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 you're the minority of people who think like that. And there is a street there is a YouTuber for you. <laughs> There's a YouTuber that thinks just like you. And he arguably the best crucible player in, in the game. But majority of the community, they follow whatever the meta is. The meta is recluse True. mountaintop. Uh what's the OME, which is one eyed mask for the Titan. That's right. meta. There is and nothing you know else what's better funny? than that. And you know what's funny? I put the one eye mask on my Titan. Mm -hmm. 
I don't see all the hype. I don't see all the benefit did because you use I played it before it got nerfed. I yeah, I did, but I play a completely different style. Okay, like don't get me wrong. If you throw the one eye mask with a recluse, you damn near is almost unstoppable. Yeah. But I don't play like that. Yeah, I play a completely different style where. I might run and shoulder charge you and then fuck your boys up afterwards because that's just how I roll. <laughs> or I long distance you with a Mida because that's just what I do. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, look, I, do. I, I hit you and, with my nail gun. <laughs> and you know what, guys? Final points because we hitting that. We really are there. Damn, I was how funny. do y'all feel about the state of Destiny right now? You love it or you hate it? Uh, I'm in between. Okay. Because this is the first DLC, and it, this is the first DLC without the Activision brand behind it, and some of the Activision content we got last year was better than this. Um, I think they got they 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 got time. I don't think it was trash like like you talking about trials with the Osiris. I don't yeah, think it was nothing sauce. compared to that. Um, I, I just think baby. they got a they got a long way to go when it comes, to, especially the Crucible, because that's the biggest complaint now. Crucible isn't fun for a lot of people in the community because of the things that are running rampant. You know, with the artifact mods, which I don't understand why they did that. They made artifact mods effective in the Crucible, knowing that it's there for people to take advantage of, and people want more gunplay, not ability play. You see what I'm saying? So. I think, That's true. I think for me, I'm in between still. So we'll see. Season nine is two weeks away. Empire leader tone. All right. So first of all, I sacrifice stormtroopers for a living, um, <laughs> and we're all and we're always hiring. So <laughs> be on, be on. we got great benefits though. He's so pew, don't, pew, don't get pew, 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 pew. <laughs> We got great benefits though. Oh uh, no! Nah, uh, unlike a stormtrooper, though, I have awesome aim. Mm. But uh, no, I, I I'm kind of with Trav, but I'm leaning a little bit more on the like, more on than on the dislike. Um, I like where we are. Okay, I like where you kind of took what we loved about D1, and you learned from your mistakes in early D2, and you're giving us a good brand. You're giving us a good product. Your storytelling, you are definitely taking risks with them by creating these effect-based stories. Like during the season of The Drifter, what side you chose told a different story. The only thing I need for them to do now is now that you're giving us these two-sided stories, where are we going? Because I'm intrigued. My Warlocks rode with The Drifter. My Titan rode with The Vanguard. So now my next question is, Where's my story going? What's now going to be my story? I, you know, now I got a question have... for you before we end. For that, yeah. That. But now that the story is is branching, it's it's, it's becoming choose your own adventures. That keeps me excited because someone like me who has three characters, I can choose different adventures, get different results, different aspects. How does it overall affect my gameplay? My warlock mm. who rode with the vanguard might never be allowed to go back to the tower again. Okay, or yeah. my Titan, I should say. So now I might only be able to go to the farm. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Maybe now I get, you know, trials of the nine weapons instead of getting Vanguard weapons. Who that's knows? something that they should think about doing. Which but would be dope. My, my question giving everybody is, an what, emblem. What made you uh, do uh, Warlock, well, quote unquote, bad Titan good? Uh. I look at my characters as individuals and how I feel like this character actually rose. And being the fact that to me, a Titan will always ride with Zavala and Zavala is always for the people. He's for, no, he's for the city. Uh So I can see my Titans being tried and true Marine soldiers. I understand it. I understand that. Whereas in my, that makes sense. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Whereas in my warlocks, they're lone gunmen. They're the wild, wild west. I mean, think about it. One of your outfits is a fucking trench coat, <laughs> like a gunslinger. Yeah. Therefore, I feel like the drifter would be the dude in the Wild West riding on his horse, <laughs> starting shit. See, and that's 
And that's the dude I'm running with. So well, that's why I picked it that way. All right. Because um, it was, you know, every because you get to choose, obviously. Whatever your main was was going to be the choice you wanted to do right? Uh, for a lot of people. But I guess I kind of stuck with the story. So I'm thinking bad guy, uh, dredging your titan. Oh, my Titan's going to ride with the Drifter because he was a part of the Dredging, the Dredging Clan. The York, yeah, the right. Dredging Clan. So I was right. like, oh, Titan. And then uh, Amor, the, uh, the the Warlock chasing the Dredging, because remember, you get the book, you get the, the pages right. for the book, I pick Warlock. And then with my Hunter, I went bad as well because I did it all on, on all three characters. Right. So I went Hunter sides with Dredgen because of the, the cutscene with the hunter that went to kill the drifter before that, that vandal, that taken vandal popped up. Right. So I was I was just curious because a lot of people did it different ways and I wanted to see how many people actually stuck like with the the realm of the story because I never I forget Zavala even exists. I don't Zavala just if he he should have died instead the of Cade. The disrespect. Zavala no. should have died before before they killed Cade. I know why they nah. did it, but Zavala nah. ain't Kate, shit. Cade had to die. Zavala ain't Kate, shit. Cade, no. We got to think about it, dog. Cade had to die. Zavala, as gangster he, as he is, will never be out in the field. He will always be yeah, your... Yeah, your general. Okay. Yeah. Boo. And because of he that... He don't want to fight. He didn't want to avenge Cade. I was trying to go kill... <laughs> No, you can't do it. <laughs> whereas, Regulators. Man, whereas an Icor was like, fam, first of all, I'm a black bald woman. So you're going to respect yes. my gangster off top. Secondly, Always. you're not going to just up and kill my peoples like that and don't think you ain't got to pay for it. She's so it worked for me because, like I said, my main is a warlock anyway. So it's like when my when my girlfriend say we finna ride on these fools, we finna ride on these fools, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's <laughs> and that's just what it was. That's crazy. And you know, and you know what? Let me speak from the casual standpoint because that's really what I am when it comes to destiny. Because all this lore, <laughs> I have no idea about. But I, I want to say for the state of the game, I I actually really enjoy it. And I'm actually comfortable enough inviting people to it. Like I got people like who ask me about it, and I'm like, "Dude, go play it. It's free." Like, you, not only is it free to play, but the shooting mechanics has always been a one. Like that's something I've always enjoyed with the game. You know, weapons having different kicks and whatnot. But I'm only doing a small, minuscule amount of the game, participating in it, and I'm having a good time, and I feel like it's worth. My ten dollars every what sixty? How many weeks? How many days or whatever? It's like a every, um, a season a every quarter. three months. So yeah, every, yeah every, so every ninety days. Yeah, so ninety days, ten bucks to get all the extras off top. I'm enjoying myself and it's worthwhile. So, right. um, so folks, man, I gotta say, much love to having the Empire Lord Tone oh. Dev Tone. Thank you for stopping by, man. No problem, bro. You know I'm always I'm always gonna come through. You you guys know that we live in a world where we get along for no damn reason whatsoever. So right. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's like you know that's that's so true. Yeah, man. we just it, this shit just works. <laughs> right. So I'm, you know, all you gotta do is just tell me you need me to come through, and I I'll, I'll talk my shit about whatever it is. Got you. Glad to hear that. And man. make sure to check out all the links below. Make sure to check out Tone Deaf Network. We Please. got everything. Hopefully awkward. Us. I still don't know how to say it right. Um, oh, hey, urban just, social science. Yeah, or, I, that's dog, like I, a tongue twister for me. Dog, I don't know I why. Where I get on her about it every day. Like, dog, can we, just, <laughs> can we get a new name? I just say us. I just say you us. Can we, just, this, man. can we just rebrand you, bro? I swear to God, I'll give you all rights and credits. We just need to change the name. <laughs> But no, it's it's everything from comedy to politics. It's all there for you, Tone Deaf Network. And then much. make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to us. Subscribe to Tone Deaf on YouTube. All the links will be below. And I'm Baron J67. T. Jones. And I'm Tone. Yeah. We Tone. out. Big dog. Peace. Peace.